I picked up the motorhome yesterday and uh, me and Cruz and Brittany is behind me. We're going to Fort Custer Recreation Area. It's a uh, state park. It's in Battle, uh, Battle Creek, like Augusta, Michigan. Motorhome's running great. Got the roof all uh, fixed up. We'll update you when we get there. This right in here is Fort Custer. Pretty much out in the woods used to be a military uh, training base. And you cannot metal detect out here because they say there could be uh, unexploded ordnance buried somewhere. We, uh, we do some metal detecting every once in a while so we try to come out here before they said no. <laughs> it's a great uh, great park though there's a lot of activities a lot of uh, a lot of things to do if you're active uh, if you bike or uh, I think they even have uh, horse trails. Yeah, there's even uh, horse trails out here, uh, biking trails, like an actual like uh, mountain bike track, I think. Just a lot of peace and quiet in nature out here. Um, you're only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from Kalamazoo, so if you have an event in Kalamazoo and you wanted to go camping, this would be a good, good place. right here if you're going to the campground. Life out here, we've seen a lot of deer and a lot of rabbits. And rabbits are taking over Michigan and Canada. They're bad in Canada too. What do you mind lives in Canada? He said rabbits are uh, taking taking over. So that's pretty much the layout. It's like two kidney beans, <laughs> two kidneys. Ecological restoration of oak barrens and savanna habitat at Fort Custer State Recreation Area. Huh. And you can get your uh, wood. Wood right there. out some of these uh, flyers and stuff. There's a phone if you're uh, after hours like registration. This is like the check-in area. Horseshoe pits over there. 
park your bike right there. And then inside is where the dump station is. The trash is right over that way. We're recycling. We are looking for uh, site 153. We're at 142 right now. There, site 153. It's gonna have to be it. A little tight in here, we wouldn't want to get too much of a bigger rig. <laughs> Our site. Pretty decent size, huh? It's uh, quiet and secluded back here. It's just like your it's like camping, you know, in the woods. Instead of like a trailer park. Some campgrounds are like trailer parks. <laughs> or a resort. Yeah, this is uh this is, this is the woods. Here's gonna go around and make sure uh, it's his site. Chris bought, but uh power's already off. So. Close this pedestal. Plug him in and just give it some power and see what happens. Sweet. We're good. Heard the big old click. I can plug in. Good. And then I can just lock this right here and then nobody can take this if this closes. Looks like, yep. I can just put a lock right here and then it's hard to steal it. Good. Really? Really? There's no water here, so. No water hookup, just electric 30 amp service, I believe, at this site. Yeah. We were on our way here and I get a phone call right as we were coming into Battle Creek from Fort Custer saying that our site number 76 is currently out of power and will be for some time. First off, when you're driving down the road and you're on your way to the campground and you get a call from the campground. Kind of want to throw then up. You get, then you get nervous. <laughs> so that site's out of power. It was a really nice site. It was a deeper site, but it was territory everywhere. I think it's a nice and level site too. It is a good site. That's what I told them. I said I needed a level yeah. site. Cruz is happy. Sure. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Happy boy. Came with mom and dad. <laughs> I keep this uh, thing closed. Door shut. Mosquitoes. So bring mosquito spray out here, and uh, like there's ticks. The ticks bad are really ticks bad in this whole area of Michigan, but 
really sandy too. Really so bad here. we get fleas really bad here in this area as well. Cruises our number one prevention. Well, that's obnoxious. I can't camp next to them for three days. You happy you got your camper back? Yeah. <laughs> it only took a month. Old stanky Freelander. <laughs> old shitty donkey came back. Old donkey. Got the roof Wasn't all. The bust. Got the roof all fixed up. Ron from. Uh, at your service RV repair. Right, is that what it's called? At your service? Yeah. Out of Taconcha, Michigan. What, what do you think about the experience uh, so far? With him fixing it? Well, I guess, I guess everything. <laughs> well, to begin with, Ron was one of the only people that called me back. And it was a busy time of year, so he got that handled really good. It's like he was uh, really, he was real, really on it to call people back. Like that's, that was one of the big, big things we were looking uh some of the online reviews about about him and talking to our friends everybody said that he was uh, really prompt to get back with, with people and he knew the emergency of the leak in the motor home it wasn't a big leak or anything don't get me wrong so here's the thing with the uh the whole time frame deal like some people could fix this you know maybe uh in a week or two or whatnot he had it for what three weeks Three to four weeks, roughly. Three to four weeks. But we never had an appointment with him. We called him, and actually first uh, Brittany called him, and then I called him uh, later because I, I didn't think, I wasn't sure there was a leak. So we canceled it, and I called him back. And then, no, he was like, hey, we have uh, room in the, in the uh, shop here. Just get it out of the rain, start drying it out. He's got a bunch of other projects. He's a very busy guy. So and we, it's camping season. He, <laughs> it's prime he season. He goes to your campsite versus you bringing your camper or your pop-up or whatever it is that needs repaired. He'll come to you and do the repair. He travels around it here. It costs a little bit more, which for the convenience, it's worth every single penny. This obviously couldn't be fixed in our driveway, and we didn't have a covered building for him to repair it. So we took it to him down in Tecancha, and he just stored it for us safely for the past month or so and I mean it hasn't rained yet but it's not leaking mm -hmm. I mean we're not gonna tell you how much we paid because that's I mean that's between us you know between it was fair us and him but it was very fair very fair for what the damage was um, and he sent pictures all along the way yeah he was set, sending texts like through uh, through the phone you know picture updates and all that saying the what stage he was at he was pulling out the rotted wood and replacing uh, the rotted wood with new wood. He had a friend that cut like diamond plate or something and they put it underneath for uh, reinforcement and then put, you know, the seam over that and whatnot. But just a stand up guy, honest, you know, seemed like he was just trying his best and he's got a lot of experience. I mean, he's been doing it for, for, <laughs> 30, there's my, there's my Southern coming out there <laughs> for, yeah, I'm from the South, but yeah, he's been doing it for 30, Four or thirty-seven years, something like that. But thank you, Ron. We appreciate it. And M MJJC, MJJC is our uh, sponsor for our uh, foam cannon. We washed it, we're <laughs> we, home with it last night. We washed this thing last night. If, if you'll notice, uh, it was dust. So I don't know how great it turned out. It was, but. yeah, it was, the sun was going down. I'm in my clothes from yesterday. But see, <laughs> we ran all, all the laundry. We ran to Indiana <laughs> looking for a tracker. We ran down to Concha. To grab, I took the girls to Grammy's house. Yep, she took uh, all, uh, Ottoman Brooke to Grammy's house, and we brought this thing home last night. Uh, saw Ron, talked to him for I don't know 45 minutes or so, and then washed this as the sun was going down. As soon as we washed <laughs> packed. it, and got inside. <laughs> I packed the motor home, reserved a campsite. We were packing and working all that long. Which and ended up getting switched because there's no electricity at that campsite. The dog was up all night with us. We were working. I mean, we still we still work. I was I was working online, but it was working online, and 
packing. <laughs> Today's but, a lazy day. I'll be busy tomorrow. Watching the little Furion TV outside. So, neat little option, I guess. I, probably the uh, outside kitchen would be nice too, but or nicer, I'm not sure. I'm not a big TV guy. But, Coachman Freelander's looking more, uh, really clean, nice. I'll attack this uh, this awning there. When we get back before we cut so, out next Thursday. It's always been nice to have a power awning. But plenty of room here at the site. Uh, we couldn't fit our old Class A here. Not with a car. But not with a car, no. And there's a tree on the other side we'll show. But like we've had Class A's, C's. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I've had, I've personally myself, uh, I've had a couple uh, Dodge motorhome, uh, two of those, uh, fifth wheel. That's before my time. Two, I don't like Dodge. Two fifth wheels. Like, I, don't, I don't like Dodge. But it was just old, two old vintage Dodges. <laughs> one guy sold me two of them. I gave one away and restored the other one. We have these new chairs on Amazon and they're pretty sweet. Yep. Everybody, a table. everybody has these chairs, but we'll, uh, We'll post a link in the description. They're little, they're not anything expensive. Can you see what I'm sipping on here? No, it's not, it's not a coffee. <laughs> it's a beer. I forgot the solo cups. At the dollar This guy was up all night with us. Working hard. Helping motivate. He's liking camping life. I will post in the description a couple of these oddball things that we use. Oh, we got this rug too. The rug here. Nice. Uh, I got some new pictures that I gotta hang up in the motorhome. That cobalt uh, blower, the electric blower we use, just we just take that and blow this rug crate right off and blow it, off the it, it's we, always brand new. Yep, yeah, usually we'll just blow off the concrete and stuff sometimes, you know, help keep it clean for the other, other campers too. Just kind of Try to leave our little campsite a little bit better than we, we found it. Don't leave garbage in the fire pit. <laughs> no, no. They left garbage in the fire yeah, pit. Yeah, I, I saw that too. Well, a couple little... Not nice. No, especially plastic. I don't care about paper. I like when people leave like a but, stack of wood. We always tend to leave our old wood. Yeah. Before, yes. But... And then we'll give... They get little, to camp for free. We'll leave some wood, usually. Oh, Chris, if your head was there, you would have... He's, he didn't know. He, he was fine. All right, uh, folks, thanks for... Uh, Keeping up with us? I'm, I'm holding my camera horrible. Thanks a lot for keeping up with us. Have a good day, guys. Have, a, have an awesome day.